Welcome to Das Geek. No, your eyes do not deceive you. This is really Minecraft running inside of my new Honda 2018 HRV, which I absolutely love. One of the reasons that I really love this car, well, one of the many reasons, is because it has an HDMI port built into the console. This allows you, what most people would do with that, is to hook up a DVD player or something along those lines so that you could watch some movies. Now, of course, this turns off this feature while you're driving, so it, it attempts to create, you know, safety from that aspect. You're not going to be able to watch movies and things while you're driving. But what you can do when you're in park is run any, you know, your phone or any, if you have a connection for your phone or any device that has HDMI. So that got me thinking, as much as I love this car, as fun as it would be to turn it into a Linux project, and that's what we did here. So this is actually MindTest, the free version of Minecraft that you can install in Linux, and this is running on Raspbian on a Raspberry Pi. I believe I have the two, I may have the three, I don't really remember which Raspberry Pi I have, but either way, it's running on a Raspberry Pi that eventually I will mount into the glove compartment box. I am controlling the Raspberry Pi utilizing this cool thing here called the iPads port, which is just a really nice condensed keyboard that you can use, mouse pad, scroll ability, and your mouse clicks in several different areas so that I can control this machine, which is just makes it that much more fun. Now, playing games on this little tiny keyboard isn't easy, but being able to play a game period within your car console is just really awesome. The only issue that I really ran into in setting this up was to make sure that it ran in the 720p format when it booted, but once I had that configured, it was just a matter of plugging all of these devices in, and like I said, eventually I will mount the Raspberry Pi into the dashboard itself. Right now it's just tucked underneath the seat and works perfectly fine. Raspberry Pis are just very versatile and they're super small, which makes it the perfect little project. Just in case you're not familiar with what a Raspberry Pi looks like, this is it here. Now mine's encased in a nice little clear plastic case, but this is the Raspberry Pi, this little computer, and you can run full Linux on it. And of course, this means we have capabilities to have browser access, GPS, and all of the things that come with Linux standard. So let's go ahead and get out of this game and let me show you some other cool things that we can do. So you can see I customized the wallpaper here. We got the proper DOS Geek branding going on, but we're also running a nice update because you can tether your phone as a lot of phones like my iPhone, for instance, even my Android has the ability to work as a wireless hotspot. So from there, as long as you have your phone in hotspot, you can connect to it just like in, you could any other Wi-Fi service. So that's where it's getting its internet from at this time. Actually, at this very moment, it's in my parking lot of my home and it's getting it from the Wi-Fi, but on the road, I connect it to my phone and that's how it can get its internet connection from there. So we can launch a browser here and I'm actually doing an update. You can see we're running a nice update on the Raspberry Pi, letting it get all the latest and greatest updates and upgrades out there. So we can go over here and we can browse the web. Of course, we can go to Dusky Community, the website, and check out all the things are going. This is where I got one of the wallpapers that I downloaded and we can do cool things like that. The Raspberry Pi, or Raspbian here, is running a Chromium browser. Of course, you could go and install other browsers if you prefer, but Chromium does a fantastic job. And what you'll notice right away is we have audio. Welcome to another episode. And this is the podcast that I'm a part of, Destination Linux. If you haven't checked it out, it's so fantastic. I do this podcast with some of the most greatest people here you could imagine, Zeb, Michael, and Rocco. Just have an absolute blast. But you can see we got audio coming through the HDMI port right away. It's just so versatile and fun. And if you have somewhere where you've got to sit for a long time, 
what a fun project to work on additionally you have all the power of Linux so again if you wanted to go in here and start connecting to one of your servers you could do that if you wanted to you know open a language like Genie and start writing some Python while you're waiting you could do that as well you could go write some documents you could reply to some documents if you want to you have uh, access to the internet gaming accessories of course you can go look and get some additional software as well and the Raspberry Pi is really neat because you can do things like emulators you could turn this into a Nintendo emulator or a DS emulator and play all kinds of different games out there for this of course you would want to keep in mind that you're probably going to be using a little keyboard like this when I originally set it up I actually just had a physical mouse that I would move around on top of the dash but this is some of the cool things and versatility of Linux Linux already is everywhere but it's so easy to put it anywhere else that it may not be. For all I know, Honda probably, the software for their cars uses Linux. A lot of car makers utilize Linux within their cars for their software, but this takes it to a whole new level, giving me a desktop operating system within my car. How awesome is that? I absolutely love it. And the best part is, I thought my wife was gonna tell me to get this thing out of here. I don't know what it is. And she's the one who found Minecraft on here. I didn't even know it was on. It came default with Raspbian. And she sent me pictures of her waiting in the car line playing Minecraft. So I think we can officially deem her a Linux geek. So that's my video. This is just a little fun project. And again, nothing special here to connect. The Raspberry Pi can run off USB power. The HDMI connection was already built into this 2018 Honda HRV. So I didn't have to do anything there. Just had to set the resolution with the Raspberry Pi at 720p so it would boot up here. It's got a really clear picture, audio, everything else came right out of the box. Now this Raspberry Pi was updated before I put it inside the car because uh, it was running within my office. But outside of that, this is a pretty easy and fun project you can do if you have an HDMI connection or the ability to add one within your car, like an aftermarket radio or something along those lines you can have an absolute blast with it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what I should do next with this Raspberry Pi. What are some things I'm not thinking of that I can incorporate now that I got it running within the car? And until next time, get out there and fill your brains, man. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to watch the video.